Today we're going to talk about diagnosing low water pressure in your kitchen faucet. There's generally two areas that can cause this to happen. To diagnose this, the first step is to take the head out of the faucet and take it off the pull-out hose. Once off, check here to make sure there is no debris in the line. If there is, you can rinse it out and hook it back up. If there's not, then you turn on the water and run it without the head on. If you still have low water pressure, then we'll go underneath the cabinet and look at one other area. The second step to diagnose the low water pressure in the faucet is to take a look at this check valve located underneath the faucet. What you'll do is disconnect the pull-out hose from the check valve and then take the check valve off completely. Once it's off, hook up the hose directly to the faucet and then turn on the water. If the pressure is okay, then we need to take apart the check valve and rinse it out. To take apart the check valve, you'll need two wrenches and a screwdriver. Loosen these with the wrenches and it'll expose the small filter. What you do then is take a screwdriver and push this out and it'll expose the small filter inside. Rinse these thoroughly with water and put them back together and then hook it back up to the faucet and this should solve the problem with the low pressure. <laughs>